Get him, Beelzemon. Actually, this Pekmon is Vaxxin. You might not kill it. But also, at the same time, double impact? So close. Oh, that's right. Your ability is the one that it hurts you, but then buffs your attack. What a great call to use agility charge that turn. Actual genius plays. Oh, yeah. Attack me. Good plan. No, I didn't even need to use double impact here, but I just wanted to. Insanely dead bird. Yo, you guys should have voted for Beelzemon. You see how OP Beelzemon is? That thing's too strong. What were you thinking, chat? Hey, I win. It's actually too easy. Yeah, it doesn't matter how good or not good of a character Nokia is, as long as she continues to slaughter literally everyone I put her up against. Oh my word, there are like 12 quote suggestions that I need to go through. I am definitely behind on that. I should just do it on Thursdays, because Thursday is my day off from stream. Like, every Thursday I should look at the quote suggestions. That's a good idea, actually. I think that's how I'm going to start doing it. Yeah, Rome wasn't... Uh, yeah, help me train. That sounds like something you'd like. Not too much bother. That's fair. Obviously, I don't know you that well because we only just met. But thank you for the power of pineapples. Much appreciated. Yeah, Nokia is like... Nokia is fine. She's not a bad character, I don't think. But she's not a very good character. Kyoko. Kyoko is a bad character. I would absolutely never use Kyoko on my team if she was an option. Never. You thought I was gonna forget. I almost did, like, legitimately, and I just remembered. Boom, he's done it. It takes 40... I think it takes 40 SP. Calm down. He's done it. All right. Oh, you guys aren't ready to, like, Digivolve or anything yet. My bad. What Digimon would you have liked on the team? Uh... Whoops. Specifically, like, I'm pretty fine with all of the Digimon we have on the team, except Pile Volcomon. So if I had taken power away from chat, instead of Pile Volcomon, I would have put, uh... Probably would have put Saber Leomon on the team, because I don't think I've ever used Saber Leomon, and he's pretty cool. Plus, we already have Gaeomon for another fire, so that would have doubled us up on wind, but we're doubled up on fire right now, so it wouldn't have been a big deal. Alright. What do we have now? We still have this to do. Let's go beat Vexing Attacker Yusuke with three U's, which is just excessive. He's an Akihabara. Given all the other Yusukes in the world a bad name. And then that should get us enough experience to do another Degeneration Digivolution chunk. And then we'll do the next main mission, I guess. Well, actually, do I even have enough? Did someone give me uptime? How much time do I have left? Lone Wolf, don't let them bully you. You don't have to give gift subs. How are you to know that I would actually remember something for the first time in my entire life? I'm officially giving you the out. Hello. Ah, oh, never mind. He did it. I <laughs> know oh, my rose. I ain't no coward. Hey, look at it, Lone Wolf. You know, honestly, giving those gift subs has uh, given you the 25 gift sub badge thing. You got that, dude. The 25 gift sub badge looks sick. It's like a red present. That's so cool looking. That's like the best looking one so far. Anyways, Nimble Rat, Chaotic Calamity, Gaijin Shadow, Shadow Thief, and Kyokyo Fury. Enjoy your uh, gift subs. Many thanks to Lone Wolf for foolishly placing a bet against me that involved money. And uh, giving out gift subs as a result. We have Waymon for this situation. It's perfect. I really need to get a unique sub sound so it's not just this default one. I need to get on that. 
But I'm so busy with so many other things. We need to remember that Chaos can, in fact, remember things that give him trauma, like trying to get Kanji's confidant. Don't remind me. I looked away for one second and my Metal Tyrannomon died. Who did that? Which one of you is responsible? All right, you're going to die to Tidal Wave. Hopefully the Bakamon will die because it's weak. No, no, no. It chewed that. Never mind. The Bakamon is so fast. It's got to go. That red gift sub badge is very nice. No, I, the Ryuji saying, what? I need that to be, uh... I actually need to get back to that because I tried to do it once, but I wasn't able to. That's going to be the raid notification for when people raid. Because it fits so well for that specifically. It would fit pretty good for subs, too. I'm pretty sure I wanted to at one point. I wanted to do, uh... I wanted to do Coffee Daddy saying, welcome back for the sub thing. That would be really good for, like, resubs when someone subs for their second time. Wouldn't match up as well for the first time they subbed, but I still want to do it because Coffee Daddy. I think Coffee Daddy would be best for subs, yeah. Coffee Daddy is probably, like, the biggest ongoing, like, meme thing that we've ever had on, on the channel, I would say. Because Coffee Daddy is amazing. All right, this is about the time where I should get Metal Tyrannomon back up. Can't help but notice that Metal Tyrannomon has been made of literal paper mache lately. I think this will get a kill. Let's find out. It did. It turned out the entire force of the ocean did in fact kill someone. Hey, don't do that. Easy living. Get out. Yeah, Metal Tyrannomon's survival rate is terrible. Just had a look at the next one, which is 50 gift subs, and it's actually horrible. What's the maximum gift sub one? Like, how many gift subs do you have to get to get whatever the highest level badge is? And is the highest level badge, like, not terrible? Who is the most attractive Persona character? I mean, for me, Hafumi. Because she's best waifu for life. Back to Ikebukuro. I keep glancing at chat and then walking into a wall. <laughs> Hit up that Digilab. You lie, it is Coffee Daddy. I'm like... I love Coffee Daddy. He's great. And I'm sure that some very respectable ladies find him attractive, as they should. But as much as I love Coffee Daddy... Coffee Daddy would be upset with me if I said that he was more attractive than Hifumi. He'd be like, come on, dude, don't lie like that, you know? Trying to get your girl, you gotta admit that she's, like, the most attractive. He understands. Coffee Daddy knows what's up. He's a cool dude. He's like the ultimate wingman. He'd be... He'd absolutely be like, listen, if you gotta say someone other than me is the most attractive to... Get your girl. You gotta do what you gotta do. The last gift sub is at 1,000 gift subs? Who on earth gives out a total of 1,000 gift subs? Well, I mean, I guess if you've been, like, following someone on Twitch for many years, it could happen. But that is insane. It's still not as good as the red one, though. Major amounts of rip. Because that red one is sick. Yo, that was 169. Can I get some nices in chat? Is this the right? Yeah. I'm trying to pay more attention so I don't make a mistake in digivolving again. 122. Ah. Oh, I think, like, almost everyone is in triple digits now, other than Rosemon and... Oh, you're at 39. That's gonna be so bad. Most of them have made it to triple digits now, or at least they're getting there. 136. You digivolve up. 159. What are, uh... What's Volcanomon at? 
Volcano Mon's at 179, and so that means uh, you're at 179. Okay. It's almost done. We've only got like five minutes left, so we don't have time to do a main mission like I was saying earlier. Can maybe do another, if we got another good domination battle available, we can do that. Just get a little more leveling going. Because I'm just, I'm trying to like hold off on main missions as much as I can to finish the Abbey grinding. Because we gotta like, we're gonna need some mega level Digimon for the Matadormon shenanigans. Teddy Taco Sauce, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream in future ones you come to. Sorry, I had to look at my phone for a second there. Uh, we do have Black Silver. Let's do that. It's our only option, so we'll do it. 250 gives, gift sub one is a nice green, and the uh, 500 one is quite nice, but none are as good as the red one. That's unfortunate. How on earth do I say this? Junior Hiagafoot? Or am I supposed to try to pronounce the J-R-H? I have no idea. But thank you so much for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Any future ones you come to. Sorry that I probably butchered your name. For any of you watching thinking like, man, I know Nokia is good, but why does he pick Nokia every time? It's mostly just because I'm doing NG+. If I wasn't doing NG+, I would be mixing it up every time to get all of the interactions with them after the fact, which is what I did in my normal playthrough. But since I'm doing NG+, I'm kind of just like, I don't really need to get the interactions with them, so I'm just going to use whatever character is best to win in an effective manner. It's assuming Chaosmon Valdermon Valderarm's ability doesn't backfire too much. It'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Time will tell. My boy RTK has started playing Hacker's Memory, by the way, and he's been uploading it to his channel, so if you want even more Digimon content... If I'm not providing enough, go check out my boy RTK. He's in my recommended channels at YouTube. He's doing Hacker's Memory now. He's not nearly as knowledgeable on Digimon as I am, but he's slowly learning, and I'm trying to- Oh no, why do I have a Tyrannomon and an Ikakumon? Where is Rosemon? Rosemon, what is going on? Where did you go? But anyways, uh, go check out my boy RTK doing, uh... Hacker's memory is what I wanted to get at. But also, the reason I brought that up is because I was gonna say me and him were talking about it, and he was like, dude... I never, he knew that he would, like, enjoy the game, but he's enjoying it even more than he thought he would. But he said, I never realized that the soundtrack in Hacker's Memory is actually phenomenal. And I'm like, dude, you're right. I never really pay that much attention to the fact that it is really great either. Like, I know it is, but I never really point it out. But the soundtrack in this game is really good. Yes, many Fs in the chat for the fact that I accidentally only brought Kaiser Graham on and then two worthless champions. Like, how did this happen? Also, what did you just say to me? What did you say about my mother? I don't even like my mother very much, so. It's a bad insult line for you to go for, buddy. I just equipped Final Aura, too. And now it means nothing. That is one dead Gabumon, though. Ah, genius plays. Well done by the bird. Now, now. Why are these guys called savages? He said the word battle. I understood that. Is that a normal... Is that, like, only in video games that that happens? Or if you, like, go to Japan and you hear people speaking Japanese, will they randomly say some words in English? Or is that something that only, like, happens in video games and anime? Might as well have never equipped it in the first place. Well, equipping it did get me five gift subs, which is a nice chunk of change. So it was worth that, if nothing else. Got really excited when I saw RTK uploading Hacker's Memory. Yo, so did I. I actually didn't have time to watch any of it until earlier today. I've only watched part one. I think he's uploaded the first four. I'm going to watch... Uh, if I have time in between Akamiga Kill tonight, I'm going to watch his second part, definitely. Now, give me that.
Oh, good, good plan. Attack Nokia. What could go wrong? Didn't you do this last time I did this exact same thing and then all of them died to a single Terra Force? Happy with these emotes? I'm glad you are. I am, like, very much in love with those emotes. Pan Dream did an amazing job with them. She is great at her, at her artwork. They turned out exactly how I hoped, and they are amazing. I love those emotes. Insanely roasted. I'm gonna overkill these fools. I only need one more point, but I'm gonna get a tenner. There are a few words that do not exist in Japanese, or the words they do have don't properly convey their intent. In those rare cases, people may use English words with their Japanese speech. Alright, that makes sense. Kasai Win is also very good, it's just not very usable, unfortunately. Which is why it's the tier 3 one. It's mostly there just so that I can have it. Just to look at, really. I don't even use it hardly ever, but I love it. Thank you. Oh, and two new cases were added. The Young at Heart. Eh. And I think this Princess Hacker one was just added. Alright. Oh, this is from Matayoshi. So we got a couple of, uh... A couple of things we can work with next time. Let's definitely hit up the Digilab really quick before I go. Set my team back how they should be. Because we lost out on a lot of experience there because Rosemon wasn't up there with the Tactician USBs, which sucks, but what are you gonna do? Six more, in six more levels, we are degenerating Kaiser Greymon. No matter what. It doesn't matter what is going on. It doesn't matter where the other Abby is or anything. I'm not getting him any higher than level 80 because it will take forever to get him done. And Rosemon is like, Rosemon is going to learn something at, like, what, what was it that I was told to get on Rosemon Burst Mode because it was really easy? It was like level 20 or something. Where's Rosemon Burst Mode on this thing? Where are you at? There you are. Final heal at level 20. Yeah, I'm not getting perfect revival or revive. I'm not messing with that. That takes way too long to get to. But final heal, we're going to get at level 20. And then once I get to that level 20, we're going to start degenerating Rosemon burst mode. So we better hope that, like, Pile Volcomon and, uh, what's his face? Boncho Leomon are on the way at that point. Or else we're going to be having a bad time. There's only 21 more Abby. That's, like... I think all we have to do is get you to 30, degenerate you to champion, then we have to get you to ultimate and degenerate you one more time, and you should have it, or at least be really, really close. So we're definitely hitting 200 Abby on, like, a couple of people next time. It's it's nearly time. We got, like, three three Digimon that are really close. Between uh, Savior Huckmon, Volcanomon, Grapleomon, and then who was the other one that was really close? I think it was, yeah, Kendogarurumon is really close. So uh, it's uh, it's looking pretty good. We're going to be getting those 200s right around the time when I do G-generate Kaiser Greymon in Rosemon Burst Mode. So, you know, fingers crossed that it all works out well. Uh, but I think that's going to be all for today. So when we come back next time, we'll probably do Matayoshi's side mission and then do whatever the next main mission is after that. And see what happens. But anyways, for those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to try and catch these live, I stream them on Tuesdays at 4 CST primarily. That's really the only day I stream them nowadays. I try and keep it... I've been trying to keep all of the different days more consistent on what gets played on them. I used to just mix up Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. But I've been trying to keep it more exact. But uh, yeah, Tuesdays is Hacker Memory Days. So if you want to try and catch them live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. Thank you guys on YouTube so much for 10k. That is just, it has blown me away. I don't know when this video will have gone live. It'll probably be like a week or so after I hit 10k. But this is the first thing I've streamed slash recorded since hitting that number. So uh, thank you all so much for that. And I hope to see you in future videos. Until then, farewell.